It's me, Senore D, Senor Little Spanish Flea. Oh, yeah, yeah. I sound French, not Spanish. What's up, everybody? Today, I am going to bring you some wonderful cheating nonsense on Payday 2. Uh, one of the best games I've played this year. Uh, shit tons of fun. It's just great. And you know what? It was only 25 quid new. So, it's cheap as chips. Lovely, jambly. Okay. We start off nice and simple. Or right, in fact, you know what? We're going to start off level zero. You're starting off with nothing. Work your way up to level 15, which will take no time at all. You can do it by just doing really piss simple jobs. And the minute you hit level 15, you're going to unlock the rat's job. Now, the rat's job is the homage. Is that is that the right word? Homage? Ho homage. It's the, uh, the Breaking Bad episode, basically, where you brew the math. It's split into three stages, although at a push it can go to five if you're unlucky and you get two escapes in the middle. So, uh, yeah. You're going to want to do this, uh, you get to, get to level 15 with your mates, or randomers, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But once you hit level 15, you want to go in solo. Now, you're going to want to do it with, um, well, you're going to want to do it as hard a difficulty as you can, and as high a payday as you can. Um, the lower you do it, you know, you're not really going to get a lot of rewards. So try and do it with one gold star, maybe two if you've got it on there yet. But I don't think it unlocks until uh, later on. Uh, I think it's like level 20, level 30 or something when the second gold star appears. But you want to get yourself in there and you want to get yourself brewing some meth. Now, you need to get yourself a minimum of three bags of meth um, brewed, which it isn't that hard. You just got to remember the, the th what is it, four places you can get it from. You can get it from the back of the truck. The two, uh, oh, it's five places, sorry. The back of the truck, the two huts that are outside. Remember, you can blow the doors open with a shotgun. You don't have to pick the lock or a machine gun or whatever. Just blast that bitch open. It's only made of wood. Fucking shoot it. Um, downstairs in the cellar and downstairs in the house in the bathroom. Those are your five spots where you can get your uh, chemicals from to make the meth. Once you've made a bag of meth, wait until the uh, wave's ended. Jump off the balcony, you land on the little uh, little hot outside, you land on the roof of that, and then you can just hit the floor and run straight for the van. Throw your bag in the back of the van, grab yourself three more chemicals, and get up in the room. Now, it's a very, very simple uh, thing to do, in theory. In theory, may I add. Because uh, the reality of the situation is that you're dealing with Bane, and Bane is somewhat of a dick. He, uh, he, he always seems to fuck up the ingredients so if he doesn't sound too convincing wait for him to announce the ingredient again many's been the time that he said muriatic acid no wait caustic soda and then you've put the caustic soda in and the whole thing's exploded and then you fucked i mean you get a trophy for the exploding so it's not bad but yeah uh, get your three bags and make a break for it you can get more if you want but to play it safe get three at first so yeah now, the second part of the mission is when you uh, you do the, the deal with the uh, with the gangsters, the homeboys. Um, what you're going to want to do here is do not run. Do not sprint. Don't click that stick in to run whatsoever. If you don't do that, then you can pick up your meth, walk over to the back of the van, put the meth in the back of the van, walk back, meth, van, meth, van. They'll tell you to go upstairs, walk upstairs. Do not run upstairs. Walk upstairs, get the shit out of the safe, walk back down again, get in your van and off you go. You can be cheeky like we usually are when we do the uh, when we do the ten star one, where we murder the guys and steal the meth back. Now you're gonna want to do this later on, but for this initial, because so, like I'm I'm teaching you how to do this from the word go here. For this initial uh, run, just put your meth in the bag, uh, meth in the van, get the uh, the information, and then go. Now, the information that you get in is the code to the C4 that's on the bus on the final level. Not really that necessary for uh, for the purposes of this little sneaky cheat that I'm going to show you. Um, that brings us to the third day, which is the uh, which is the bridge. Now, the bridge, you're going to start off at the one end of the bridge. You've got to get to the other end of the bridge. Murder the dudes that are on the coach or bus, whatever it is. And then you're supposed to steal the money. But we don't want to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. What we're going to do here is we're going to bomb down the left-hand side of the bridge. Okay, so there's a, there's a section between the left-hand rails and the uh, sort of crash barrier. 
shoot straight down that. Uh, you're going to want to get to the bus. The minute you get on the bus, start unloading your clip. I usually take a machine gun and uh, the P P90 with me. So uh, a machine gun and my SMG. Because it's got tons of bullets and I don't need to reload. I can fire the shit out of the P90. And if I don't kill everybody, I can swap my weapon and erase the rest of them. Now the second you've done that, just run back to the helicopter. Seriously, trust me, trust me on this. Just run back to the helicopter. Now, you get back to the helicopter. Mission screen comes up. Bravo, you've done it. Card comes up. You're going to want to pick a card. That card turns over. And this is where the sneaky stuff happens. When that card turns over, you're going to press pause. When you've paused it, you're going to select restart game. Oh yeah. And then the game will restart from that final level. All your stats will be saved. You'll have your experience points from the previous game. You'll have your card. But you'll be ready on that last level again. So you just rush to the bus. Shoot the guys. Rush back. Collect your XP. Collect your card. Pause. Restart. Bus. Fucking back to the helicopter. Collect your shit. It is as simple as that. You can do it as many times as you want. Although it does get a little bit tedious. Especially if you've not done it on a super high difficulty. And you're not getting a lot of... Uh, you're not getting a lot of XP and cash and shit. But seriously, go for it as long as you want. Now, the second sneaky cheat. Yes, the second part of this double header. The best part of this double header. Get yourself a fire starter mission. This one has to be done with uh, more than one person. So two, three, four people, whatever. Make sure the your uh, make sure the friends or you know them or they know what's gonna go on, because if they see the if they see the sneaky glitch in this on this, there's a good chance they're gonna cry. There's a good chance they're gonna scream, and there's a good chance they're gonna report you for cheating, and then everybody loses out. So, someone's got to have the OVE saw, all right? It's, they just have to have it. Someone has to have that, and they have to have the double ammo bag as well. So make sure one of you has that. If not. Don't bother trying this uh, this cheat, because uh, chances are it's not going to work. I mean, I suppose you could do it with the uh, with if somebody had ghost with the quick lock picking skill, but uh, no, because it essentially boils down to opening the deposit boxes very fucking fast. Now, anyway, we'll start from the beginning. First day of the fire starter mission: robbing the guns. Make sure you rob them guns. Don't burn them. Don't blow them up. Just rob them. The more the merrier. If you can get 15 bags of fucking guns, you're coming out with a whopping great payday at the end of it. Even if you're only on one or two star, it's going to be juicy. Not as juicy, but juicy nonetheless. You're going to come out with uh, half a million for uh, one or two star, million plus for uh, a full ten star. Now, you, uh, you get your bags, as usual, get your bags of guns, get back to the van. Everything's, uh, everything's cushy. Remember to check upstairs if you're in one of the hangars with an upstairs. Remember to check both the vans all around the fucking little hangar point. Because sometimes you can miss them. It's very, very easy. There's been many a time when I've run past one and not noticed it was there. Um, be sure to use the bag glitch where you throw the bag next to the wall and you can grab the bag through the wall. I know they say they patched it, but they fucking haven't. They were lying. Now, the second part of the uh, of the three-day mission is the FBI uh, hacking the server. Now this is useful if somebody's got a um, C4, because you can blow the door open, you can blow the inner door open, and then you can just saw the door, and then you can just drill your way through the final part. But always remember to check that room downstairs. As you come in that uh, that side door, there's a room. As you walk in, it's just on the right hand side. It's a shut door. It's wooden. You can pick your way in because there's many a time when it's like it's, like it's got gold in it. It's got gold, cash, coke. There's a couple of little things in there. There's, sometimes there's guns in there. But always check it because you never know. Then get the server room, get it hacked, get it pinched, and get back to the van. Now the third part is the uh, is the killer. This is the this is the winner. This is the bit that got me because I didn't know about this cheating. So my boy uh, my boy Jordan uh, dragged me on. He goes like, "Oh, Dino, come check this fucking cheat out." And I was like, "What? Really? What cheat? There's no cheats on payday." And boom, fucking cheat. <coughs> so get yourself the saw equipped. Super important. Get yourself two ammo bags equipped. Super important. If you don't have two ammo bags, make sure somebody's coming in the fucking vault with you. Now, what you want to do is... Somebody grabs the, somebody grabs the uh, drill bag. 
throw that bad boy down as usual make sure that uh, the electric is still on make sure the electric is still on and then you're going to want to jump on the box you're going to want to duck down and you're going to want to put your back to the vault okay and then you're going to activate the drill now as you're activating the drill you're going to be sucked through the vault door I shit you not, you will be sucked through the vault door and into the vault itself. The door won't be open, the drill won't be activated, you, but you'll be in there. Now this is the part where it's up to the other person who is with you to turn off the electric and start drilling the vault. <coughs> if the vault, if the drill breaks down and the other person dies, it's okay because you can activate it from inside the drill. From inside the drill, from inside the vault. So uh, yeah, and then you're just going to destroy them fucking deposit boxes basically and uh, it works a treat because you can make out with a fortune and uh, yeah so hmm, I'll just leave you watching what happens in the background yes uh, thank you for watching like subscribe all that good stuff happy times much love